So how do you solve a system of equations using matrix uh, inverse matrices? Well, the first step is, I mean, you can see plenty of other videos that walk you through this part. But what you do is you take your system of linear equations and you break it out into matrices. Now, what the matrices are is just the numbers, the coefficients in front of the variables. So that's your coefficient matrix. And then you're going to write a matrix that contains your solutions or your or your the variables. And then we have the constant terms, which go in this matrix. And what you have is it's a matrix equation. It's out, it looks very complicated. Um, it's much easier than that, though. So what you do is just have a, a basic equation that's formed with this. We have a matrix times you have some numbers times a variable times some, con some constants. And what you've done in, you know, back years ago is you just divided both sides by A, right? Well, we can't divide in matrix algebra, but what we can do is divide by the, or multiply by the inverse. So what we're going to do is we're going to find the inverse of this matrix here, A inverse times A. And we know when we multiply values that are multiplicative inverses, we get one, right? And that's what we're going to do here. I should be putting brackets around the letters, but I'm not going to. I multiply both sides of the matrix by A inverse. I, technically, maybe I should have it A times A inverse, but it, it won't matter. We aren't even going to deal, deal with that, OK? So here's what you do to, to use a calculator. Now, um, the author of this textbook walks you through how to do this by hand. I don't think you need to know how to do that yet. Um, maybe if you ever have to take a linear algebra course, then you'll have to learn about row reduction. That's not what we're doing here. So what I'm going to do is I have to enter these matrices, the A matrix and the B matrix, into my calculator. So, and that's exactly what I'm going to do, is I'm going to do um, second x to the negative 1 gets me in this feature, okay? So I, I wrote, I used I used this um, second button first, and then I, I uh, tapped this x to the negative 1 key, and that got me to this screen and then what you have to make sure you do is edit you got to come over to edit because if you don't you won't be able to edit and it'll, it'll pull some hair out on that so my first matrix my matrix a my coefficient matrix is two rows with two columns so what i have to do is I have to tell the calculator i have a two by two matrix it's rows then columns and you get to type in those numbers and it goes right across Okay, so once I've got those numbers in, I'm going to quit it. And then I'm going to enter matrix B in. So second matrix, make sure to edit. I'm going to edit matrix number two. Either you can scroll down and press enter or type two. And this is a two row by one column matrix. And I'm going to type in those numbers. Okay. I'm going to quit. Now, just to show you a little bit of matrix theory, if you've never studied these, um, if I do the inverse of A times matrix A, I should get the identity, right? Because it's like, um, let me come back over here. If I do uh, one, one half times two, I get one. One is the multiplicative identity, and, and the inverse, the multiplicative inverse of two is one half, and that's what we're going to find with this with the calculator. If I want to find the the inverse of of that matrix, you can just type. Well, it's just like this. If I wanted to find the the multiplicative whoops, the multiplicative reciprocal of in identity of two, I can hit two to the negative one. That'll give me one half. Well, with the matrices, you can do the same thing. Second matrix, well, matrix A. If I hit x to the negative 1, and hit enter, this messy matrix is the inverse, the multiplicative inverse of matrix A. We can change that to fraction form sometimes, but we don't need to. Um, what I'd like to show you is, let me clear this. If we do matrix A, times the inverse of A, 
multiplicative inverse of a, we should get some form of an identity. And this is exactly what this is, where you have a two by two matrix. The identity has the ones along the main diagonals. And that matrix, if you ever study matrix multiplication, the rows has to, the number of row uh, columns in the first matrix has to be the same as the number of rows in the second matrix. You can multiply them. This is what it's formed. You can go look and find some video on this. Uh, I don't think we need to go into that here. But so how do we solve that system? That, that's, that's what we're doing. Well, I'm going to multiply the inverse of A times matrix B. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to do second matrix 1, and then I'm going to do the inverse of it. I'm going to multiply that by matrix B. And those two numbers, the 5 and negative 2, that's the x and the y where this system crosses, where those two equations cross. Okay, whoops. And we should write that as an ordered pair, because it is an ordered pair. So the solution is 5, negative 2. And we could check. You, I'll let you check that if you want but that's how you solve it now this for a two by two system why would you want to use this method i agree uh, it's when you start getting three by three four by four systems that there's so much algebra involved with that it's easier to have a separate another method which you'll have to do in in calculus too okay so i'll stop this tape maybe i'll do a couple more examples